A frequency tree is a way of displaying information that can be broken down into groups. In this example, we're told 100 people were asked if they prefer tea or coffee. So the total number of people is 100. So we're starting with 100 people and then we're going to break it down. So we're told 55 of the people were boys and the rest were girls. So 55 are boys. So this girls box must be 100 minus 55, whatever adds on to 55 to make the total. So 100 take away 55 is 45. So this box must be 45. These two boxes make the total. And then we break them down again. So the boys box gets broken down to boys that like tea and boys that like coffee. We're told 21 of the girls prefer tea. So the girls tea box is 21. And the rest of the girls must like coffee. So 45 take away 21 is 24. So 24 girls must prefer coffee. 60 people prefer coffee. So in total, 60 people prefer coffee. So this box, the 24, and the missing coffee box must add up to 60. So 60 take away 24 is 36. So 36 boys must like coffee. And we've got one box missing. There are 55 boys. 36 of them prefer coffee, so 55 minus 36, which is 19. So 19 boys prefer tea. So that is a completed frequency tree. So in total, these numbers add up to 100. So 19 boys prefer tea, 36 boys prefer coffee. That makes 55. And 21 girls prefer tea, 24 girls prefer coffee, that makes 45. So in total, we've got the 100 people. Here's one for you to try. So give this one a go. So we're told 250 students either study French or German. So we're going to start with 250. And 120 are in year 10. So 120 of them are in year 10. The rest of them are in year 11. 250 take away 120 is 130. So 130 year 11s. We're told 160 students study French. So these two boxes have to add up to 160. 52 year 11 students study German, so 52 year 11 German, so we can work out year 11 French, 130 take away 52, so to get to, well, what do you have to add on to 52 to get 130, so add 48 to get to 100, then another 30, so it's 78, and we were told 160 study French, so 160 take away 78, that would be 82. And the missing box is going to be 120 take away 82. So what do you have to add on to 82 to get to 120? 18 to 100, and then another 20, so 38. Here's another question. We're told 200 people were surveyed to see if they prefer idea A or idea B. So there are 200 people in total. 107 are women, the rest are men. So 200 take away 107 will be 93. So 93 men. 52 out of the 112 people that prefer idea B are women. So 52 women prefer idea B. 
and well, we were told 112 people prefer Radio B. So how many men do? 112 take away 52, and that is 60. So 60 men prefer Radio B. So now we can find the missing numbers. 93 take away 60 is 33. And 107 take away 52 is 55. So there is our completed frequency tree. That's part A. Now it says one of the people is selected at random. Write down the probability they prefer idea A. So how many people prefer idea A? So idea A is 33 and 55 which is going to make 88. So what's the probability that someone prefers idea A? There's 88 people out of 200 in total. So it's going to be 88 out of 200. We don't have to simplify it. We could, but unless we're asked to, we don't have to simplify probability. Question C, part C, one of the people who prefer idea A is chosen at random, write down the probability that they are a man. So we know 88 people prefer idea A. 88 people prefer idea A. So it's going to be out of 88. We're picking one of these 88 people. What's the probability they're a man? How many men are there in these 88 people? There are 33. So it's 33 out of 88. Again, we could simplify it. They're in the 11 times table, but we don't have to. We don't have to simplify probability unless we are asked to. And one more question. So pause the video and give this a go. And then press play when you're ready for the answer. So we've got 240 students. That's the total. So that's going to go in the first part and then 130 are in year seven, 130 are in year seven, the rest are in year eight. So how many more do we need to get to 240? That's 110. And we don't need any more information because part of the frequency tree has been done for us. So we just need to fill in the gaps. So 72 year sevens prefer film. How many want to go to the park? So 130 take away 72. So what do you have to add on to 72 to get to 130? It's 28 to get to 100. 28 and 30 make 58. And 51 year eights want to go to the park. How many want to watch the film? So 110 take away 51. So that's going to be 59. So that's the frequency tree completed. Find the number of people who would prefer to watch a film. So we've got 72 year sevens, 59 year eights, 72 plus 59 is 131. So 131 people. One of the students is selected at random. Find the probability they're a year seven student who would prefer to go to the park. So year seven park, that's 58 of them. Out of 240 in total, so 58 out of 240, 58 over 240. We don't have to simplify it because we won't ask to, so we can leave it as that.